I've been doing a lot of thinking, and we have to talk about this idea of yours to get married. You took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, um, me first. You first. <laughs> the floor is yours. I've made a decision. And? I'll do it. Really? Um, I'll marry you, yeah. Um, of course, my parents would be less than thrilled about the idea. And, you know, it's not exactly what I pictured when I thought I'd get married. I kind of thought I'd marry a guy I love and, and you know, it would last forever and it wouldn't be a, a stunt. No, 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 I understand. But I never thought I would do a reality show either. And it's what brought you into my life, so... I'll do it for you. And for your dad. I don't know what to say. I, I thought you'd be happy. Unless you don't want to marry me anymore. Oh. Have you come up with another way to bail out your dad? No. Okay, then I don't understand. I mean, first you're all we had to get married, and, and now... I, I just don't want to take advantage. That's all. You're not. I am clear in what I'm, what I'm doing, and... It's not like I don't like you. I do. I like you, too. <laughs> so we're really doing this, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, unless you, you know, you changed your mind, you don't want to, and then... No, 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 I, I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This, this, this is gonna help us out so much. So I guess we should start planning the wedding. <laughs> No need for that. All we gotta do is hop a plane to Vegas. What? Vegas? Uh, unless you know somewhere else that we can get married tonight. Tonight? I can't get married tonight. Why not? Well, first of all, among a billion reasons, I, I don't have a dress. Oh, babe, hey, we can get a dress in Vegas. Get a dress in Vegas? Yeah. No, I want to go shopping for a dress with my mom and my sisters in our wedding planner. I don't want some cheap off-white poly blend from, from a casino mall. Okay, I get it. There's no malls. Okay, I promise. We'll go to a it's, cute it's little boutique. It's not even about the dress. All of a sudden, we have to get married immediately? Why? The production company, they're, they're really pressuring me. Okay, they want to delivery a mob princess like yesterday. If I don't deliver the, the, the wedding Tell right them away... I'm gonna... not ready to get married tonight. Well, I guess my dad's on his own. You should have taken. I help your father, but there has to be another way. Maybe I can talk to the production company and convince them that the build-up is just as important as the wedding. And you know, they, they give me time to plan. It will generate more no, no, interest. No, no, no. You don't understand. The production company says they waited too long. Okay, if I don't give them ten episodes of Mob Princess plus this this wedding, like right now, they're gonna take me to court for breach of contract. Do they even care that your father needs the money for his legal defenses? Actually, my father's been released. They, the court said that he was being wrongly accused. Well, why didn't you tell me this before? I just found out this morning. So if he's free, where is he? Well, he's... He said he had to take care of a few things after he got released. So if he's free, why do we need to get married at all? I lost a lot of money on that reality series that didn't happen, and my store is an inch away from a chapter 11, so... So you gotta marry this girl. Tonight. My dad sunk every last penny he had into the defense lawyers and into Mob Princess, and the only way I can keep him out of bankruptcy is if we get this money back from this production company. And they're not gonna pay you back unless you give them what they want. Look, Chris, I know you don't really understand this. Your dad's rich. You never needed money. But my father... My father worked every single day of his life. And we still didn't have much. And now he could end up with even less. I'll help you, but I just can't get married tonight. My mother is still in the hospital, and if she finds out... Okay, we'll be home tomorrow before your mom even gets home. I thought I would have some time to work on my parents and ease them into this idea so they wouldn't want to kill you. You know your parents would never let you marry me. Well, it's, it's not up to them. Right? Think about it. If they knew what we were doing, Chris, they'd try to stop us, right? Your mom would probably show up with uh, some sort of court order. Your dad would roll up with his thugs. Am I wrong? No. Well, Chris... Your mom and dad cannot know anything about this wedding. 
until it's a done deal. Great. I have to tell my parents at some point. Okay, before the show even airs, we'll have this thing annulled. That way, the our wedding doesn't interfere with Sonny and Kate's. Doesn't the production company want my family there? Otherwise, where's the drama? Okay, what about this? Forbidden love. Hmm? Forbidden how? My parents aren't wildly enthusiastic about you, but it's not like, you know, you're a Zakara or from a rival family or anything. Oh, but hey, okay, that's that, that's great. What if what if I play that up? What if I say I am from a mob family? Hmm? Think about it. <laughs> we um we are children of mortal enemies, deeply in love. <laughs> like Romeo and Juliet. There's a reason it's a classic. We want our relationship to be seen by the world. But if it gets out before we seal the deal, a war would erupt. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm telling you, the only way for the mob princess to survive is to run away with her mob prince. <laughs> I'll admit, the forbidden romance angle is compelling. Too bad it's a total lie. What the audience doesn't know won't hurt them. And it raises the stakes for the wedding. Assuming there's still going to be a wedding. Okay. Yeah? You sure? <laughs> I want to help you, Trey. So, yeah. I'll marry you. Thank you. Thank you. This, this, this means so much to me. I know you just want to help your dad. He's so lucky to have you for a son. And I'm lucky to have you as my soon-to-be TV husband. You better get going. We're going to catch that flight. Uh, okay, I can't believe we're doing this. Right? <laughs> going somewhere? Carly. What are you doing here? Your uh, dad put me on your detail. One guy isn't enough? Mr. C's just being careful. Still? Don't we need to be a little bit more discreet? You know, always watching, never seen? I have my orders. I'll do my best to stay out of your way, but I have to go anywhere you go. Okay? So, uh, where are we headed? Um, you know, on a second thought, Chris, why, why, don't, why don't we just stay in? You sure? I know this great organic place. I'm sure. I guess we're stuck. No, no. One way or another, we'll get on that flight. I don't see how we're gonna make it to Vegas tonight. Milo's a really committed bodyguard. He's not going anywhere. It's fine. I'll think of something, okay? Figure it out. How is it? Uh, production company. Hello? Hello, oh, son. Just checking in. You on the plane? Uh, no. Sorry. We hit a snag. Then get unsnagged. It's essential for you and Christina to get on that plane, get out of town, and get married tonight. I am trying my best, but... Essential. Come on. Uh, what's going on? Guarding your sister. How about your guys? Fritz around? Oh, he's waiting outside. Is, is Christina in there with Trey? She is. All right, good. I want her to hear this, too. <laughs>